Hello dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Chemistry Aspirant. Now in today's lecture, we are going to learn about the formation of molecular orbital energy level diagram for nitrogen molecule. Now in the previous lecture, we already learned about the formation of molecular orbital energy level diagram for carbon molecule. The link is given in the card. Kindly watch that video also. Now here, we are going to follow the 8 important point by which we are going to explain the formation of nitrogen molecule by using the molecular orbital theory concept. So, I request you to kindly watch this video till the end so that you will easily understand which are the simple 8 points and how you can remember these 8 points. Point number first that is the nitrogen molecule. We know that nitrogen molecule is formed by the two nitrogen atom and the each nitrogen atom in the ground state has a 7 electron. Now here I have shown the electronic configuration for the nitrogen atom. So nitrogen atomic number 7 and its electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s2 and 2p3. Now the point number second that is the total electrons in the nitrogen molecule. The nitrogen molecule is formed by the two nitrogen atom and the each nitrogen atom contain the seven electron. Hence, there is a total 14 electrons in the nitrogen molecule. So that is our point number second. Now the point number third, construction of molecular orbital energy level diagram. So here we know that the linear combination of 2, 1s, 2, 2s and the two 2p atomic orbitals of both nitrogen atom forms the 10 molecular orbitals. Out of that, the 5 are the bonding molecular orbital and these are the sigma 1s, then sigma 2s, then pi 2px, pi 2py and sigma 2pz. While the remaining 5 are actually the anti-bonding molecular orbital and these are sigma star 1s, then next sigma star 2s then next that is the pi star 2px pi star 2py and lastly the sigma 2pz so these are the five antibonding molecular orbitals now here we have to distribute the 14 electron in these molecular orbitals by following above's principle Pauli's exclusion principle and hunt's rule so here the first two electron will enter into the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital. Then the next two electron will enter into the sigma star 1s antibonding molecular orbital. So here totally the four electrons are used. Now the 10 is remaining. Now again the two electron will enter into the sigma 2s and the next two will enter into the sigma star 2s. So total 4 plus 4, 8 electron is used. Now the 6 is remaining. So here, out of this 6 electron, the 2, 2 electron will enter into the pi 2 px and pi 2 py bonding molecular orbital. Then the remaining 2 electrons will enter into the sigma 2 pz bonding molecular orbitals. So in this manner, we have distributed all the 14 electrons in these molecular orbitals which I have shown by this animated form 1 and this leads to the formation of nitrogen molecule. So that is our point number 3. Now next the point number 4 the electronic configuration for nitrogen molecule. So here I have given the electronic configuration for the nitrogen molecule and sigma 1s2 then sigma star 1s2 then sigma 2s2 then sigma star 2s2 then pi 2px2 pi 2py2 and sigma 2pz so this is the electronic configuration i have written by taking the reference of the point number 3 where we have construct the molecular orbital energy level diagram for this nitrogen molecule and we are going to write the electronic configuration on the basis of these molecular orbital energy level diagram. Now the point number fifth that is the calculation of the bond order. We know that the bond order can be calculated by using the formula 1 by 2 into Nb minus Na. Now here 
एन बी इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल एन ए इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल नाउ फॉर नाइट्रोजन मॉलिक्यूल हियर वी कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एन बी विल बी इक्वल्स टू टेन एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एन ए विल बी इक्वल्स टू फोर नाउ दिस वैल्यू यू कैन कैलकुलेटेड बाय अगेन यूजिंग द पॉइंट नंबर थ्री इन विच वी हैव कंस्ट्रक्ट द मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल एनर्जी लेवल डायग्राम यू कैन इजिली डिफ्रेंशिएट द बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल एंड द एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल इफ यू वॉच ऑल माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सिंपली पुट दिस वैल्यू इन दिस फॉर्मूला दैट इज बॉन्ड ऑर्डर इक्वल्स टू वन बाय टू इंटू एन बी माइनस एन ए सो दे आर फोर वन बाय टू इंटू टेन माइनस फोर दे आर फोर वन बाय टू इंटू सिक्स दे आर फोर द बॉन्ड ऑर्डर विल बी द प्लस थ्री टू हियर द टू नाइट्रोजन आइटम्स विल लिंक विथ इच अदर बाय द ट्रिपल बॉन्ड सो दैट इज अवर पॉइंट नंबर फिफ्थ नो अगेन द पॉइंट नंबर सिक्स दैट इज द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ दिस मॉलिक्यूल generally the stability of the molecule depends upon the two important factor that is the total number of a bonding electron and the anti bonding electron and the second factor is the bond order so here we have observed that the total number of a electrons in the bonding molecular orbital is greater than the total number of electrons in the anti bonding molecular orbitals that is the nb having the greater value than the na again the bond order is a positive value hence the nitrogen molecule will be highly stable so that is our point number 6 now point number 7 now here we are going to consider the number of bond then the bond length and the bond dissociation energy for nitrogen molecule so here the number of bond will be equals to 3 as we have calculated from the bond order then the bond length of the nitrogen molecule is found to be 1.54 and strong and the bond dissociation energy for nitrogen molecule is 590 kJ per mole now the last point that is the magnetic property of nitrogen molecule if the molecule contain the unpaired electron that molecule behave as an paramagnet and if the molecule contain the paired electron then the molecule behave as an diamagnet so here you can observe that generally the all 14 electrons which we have distribute in the different molecular orbital energy level diagram is a paired one hence nitrogen molecule is diamagnetic in nature so these are the simple eight point by which we can simply explain the formation of nitrogen molecule by using molecular orbital theory concept thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video